What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Currently out here in the woods at a secret location and it is juicy. But there is a creek all the way in the back here in the woods and nobody really fishes it. Um, it's not a very big creek. I'm going to have to do some walking to get to spots where there's actual little dips and holes. So it's going to be a good like two mile hike. But when I, when I find that calm water in these creeks, those bass really stack up. And this creek water is still cold. So even though like the largemouth and other places have already spawned, these creek bass will still be spawning because the water is so cold. So a little hack for you there. If you want to make the spawn last a little longer, go fish a creek. You're obviously not going to find fish as big. But pretty sure they're still spawning back here. And I'm going to do some sight fishing. Got the old Pineside Invisa hat on. Should help me catch some fish. Use code GEORGIA at checkout. Save 15% off your order. So there's a plug for you guys. And I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you if you just hate my guts and you want to unsubscribe in a week or two, you can do that as well. But I'm going to try to keep you guys entertained. I'm trying to constantly think of new videos for you guys and uh, give you the best tips and advice I know how to do. So I've got some cool things coming up on the channel, so you never know. But without any further ado, we'll go ahead and catch you guys down at the creek. Is that a sucker out there? Oh, I got a bass. Oh, guys. Woo. I got a bass. And I'm pretty sure that's a spotted bass. Or is that a shoal bass? I got to go wash it off. I gotta go wash it off. Can't believe I just got a bass out of there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me wash you off. I'm pretty sure it's a spotted bass. But I want to say it could possibly be a shoal bass. But I'm about 95% sure it's a spot. But the only reason I say that is because this little creek is known to have shoal bass in it. So... That is awesome. All right, everybody, even if I don't catch another bass for the rest of the day, I'm pretty happy that I got this little thing out of the creek. The water is crystal clear and I saw it come up and just demolish that worm. So let me get over here in the light. Let me know what you guys think it is. I'm pretty sure it's a spotted bass, but I was saying there is a slight chance it could be a shoal bass. It looked like it had some lateral lines, like it could be a shoal but not really sure so leave it in the comment section below whether or not you think it's a shoal bass or spotted bass and we're going to go ahead and get a release on this thing see you later bud all right walking back over to the spot where i just had that bass to bite there could potentially be a few more. It kind of... That was terrible. There's another bass looking at it. Ooh, I had another one, guys. I had another one. Awesome. Two casts and two, two bass. I just need a giant to come out of there. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's even better than the first one. That's what I'm talking about. That, my friends, is a good spotted bass. Awesome catch. And I'm pretty sure it's fanning. What do, what do you think, guys think these black marks are on the bottom? 
that is a really good spotted bass let me go flip you guys over to the main camera all right second decent fish of the day another spotted bass this place has been pretty productive so far let me get over here yeah i am uh not disappointed about this at all i'm pretty sure it's spawning or something like that so let me go ahead and get a release on this but this is the first time i've ever even fished this creek and i've already done pretty good two bass and i almost had another one back to back so that is a chunky little spotted bass beautiful fish we're gonna go ahead and get a release on this thing real quick but i mean if i don't catch another fish today the scenery the view everything out here is just amazing stuff like this is really what fishermen are looking for i have a waterfall over here behind me so we're gonna go ahead and get a uh, release on this fish maybe there'll be another one down there in that little hole I'm leaving my camera and everything over there so hopefully nobody steals it but I just wanted to see if there was any other spots on this creek that had calm water and if I could see any more bass I see a bluegill right here Ooh, I'm pretty sure I just saw a good bass oh I just had a bass over there looking at it let me get down here it wasn't a big bass but I had a bass looking at it I just saw the little bass guys right here mm, he just swiped on it got him oh my patience has endured Ooh, I was sitting there just dangling from his face guys I told you there was one down there awesome awesome we're not gonna get the main camera out for this but another little spotted bass I mean that water is crystal clear we're gonna go ahead and get a flip on you but these things are so much fun to catch awesome that was the big one too so there was two of them down there there was an itty bitty one and another one and I just saw another fish come over here this place is absolutely chock full of spotted bass Ooh, guys there's a spotted bass right here a nice one Ooh, i just missed him Ooh, and there's a snake right above it that's a bed right there it's falling gotcha gotcha security got you a little booger all right guys i fished that bass right off that rock right there i think he was spawning whoa there she goes crystal clear you can see her clear as day she's heading right back to her bed she'll be just fine all right everyone uh it is a hike through the woods i'm currently looking for another spot uh those spotted bass are going to be easiest to catch where the river kind of slows down and pulls up and mainly it's just kind of running really fast i actually might be able to pull one out of that little spot i just showed you because that's actually the calmest it's been here in a while i just have to get down to that rock so let me try to get down there let me see if there's anywhere to go over here but if you guys want to see more of these creek videos or just just type of exploring videos just drop it in the comments below because i'm having fun myself if you can't tell Ooh, all right i'm gonna put the camera right here and uh, we're gonna go down there and get to fishing we'll see you guys here in just a second 
Guys, I didn't have it on GoPro view, but I just went to grab this stick to hold on to, and the whole thing just started snapping. So, uh, it's gonna be a pretty dangerous climb. Whoa! Oh! Oh my gosh. I wouldn't have my hand on this tree behind me. Oh! Okay. Man. That was rough. Oh no! LaCroix! Oh! Got one! Got one guys! It's a good one! It's a good one! It's a good one! I knew there'd be one back here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is awesome. I got that one with no crock on as well. Cause I'm over here letting it dry. But that is an awesome catch. Oh yes, I saw that thing come up and smack it. Awesome spotted bass guys. Look at that red eye it's got. Thing is demonic looking. Let's go ahead and get a release on it. Woo, see you girl. That was awesome. That was awesome. I'm probably not gonna go any further than this, but that's as far as we go. That's an awesome video. That bass come out of nowhere. Oh, look, another one. Another one. Another one. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Another one. This is my first largemouth of the day, I'm pretty sure. Or is it another spot? That is a largemouth. My first largemouth bass of the day. Check that thing out. These creek fish just fight so much harder than a normal fish. Two casts, two fish, guys. See you later. Okay. Let's see if there's another one. Another one. Guys, I can't make this up. Every cast. Three casts in a row. Oh my goodness. The third fish in a row. Another spotted bass. That is awesome. I'm gonna chunk you out over here in the current literally three casts in a row guys that's not edited oh my goodness another one oh -ho -ho! another spotted bass awesome awesome four casts in a row and I caught four fish oh oh my goodness look guys it's got somebody's uh, jig head in its stomach oh look what I just pulled out of it I'm gonna set that down right here for the moment but uh yeah guys that's what happens when a fish eats your old lures that's awesome though. Glad I got that hook out of her. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get a release on her. If I can catch another fish here, this is going to be an insane video. 
That is awesome. Oh my goodness. I just saw a big one. A big one, guys. Just came and uh, tried eating it. I'm gonna get right here. Really try to get that spotted bass hit again. Oh, I just missed him. Man. Just as I was talking. There he is. Got him. Oh. Got you. All righty. I work for you. Alright guys, we are headed back to the main part. I apologize if you couldn't hear me talk too good because I was down there in the rapids and uh, basically what I did was I walked for like a half mile in the rapids and I finally found a spot that uh, had calm water and I just knew my first four casts in a row I caught fish. So which is pretty crazy. I ended up catching a fifth one, pulled a jig out of a bass that was kind of stuck in there hooked. So. Got to do a mild fish rescue while we were at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the main entrance and I'll see you guys there in just a second. Shoot. All right guys, I'm officially back at the truck. Oh, I broke a sweat on that walk. That was, <clears throat> That was a long hike I had to do to get back here to this creek. Um, it's a lot further than I'm going to disclose. The good spots were like a couple miles back in the woods at least and uh, had to hike over rocks and stuff. But thanks to Pineside for the nice green windbreaker and the Invisa hat. Without the Invisa hat, guys, I was literally standing over fish, yanking them out because they couldn't see me. So it's good to have camo on, especially in crystal clear water. And uh, you can't beat a weightless Cinco. Thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way to the end of the video. Like I said, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers at the time of recording this. Who knows, I could blow up and hit 10K in a week or something. I doubt it. But this was a very fun video. Let me know if you want to see more of these, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.